Hello, welcome to another short helicopter flight on the VATSIM network. Today we are at the heliport of uh, Kingsford Smith International in Sydney. We're in the Bell 407 and we are going to hop over to Parameta Heliport. And we're just about ready to listen in on the ATIS. 020 degrees, 14 knots, cab OK, temperature 24, QNH 1007. On first contact with Sydney ground or approach, notify receipt of information Bravo. Time check, 1204. A Parramatta heliport is home base for Sydney helicopters and it is about 10 miles uh, northwest of uh, Sydney International, just a little south of the Rose Hill Gardens uh, racecourse. We are going to depart Mascot via the Harbour Bridge 5 outbound helicopter route. Sydney Terminal Information Bravo. Expect independent visual approach. Runway departures and arrivals tree 4 left and tree 4 right. Parallel runway operations in progress. Wind 0 to 0 degrees, 1 4 knots. Cab OK. Temperature 24, QNH 1007. On first contact with Sydney ground or approach, notify receipt of information Bravo. All right, we have Bravo, and as usual in Sydney, Time it is check. quite windy with 135. Now, there are several specified helicopter routes uh, in and out of Sydney International, and you will find them in the en route supplement that you can find on the Australian AIP website uh, free of charge. Well, the most direct route to Parramatta would probably be the Rose Hill 5 outbound departure. I tried for the Harbour Bridge 5 outbound so we can take a look at Sydney's most iconic harbour scenery. Let's make our initial call to Tower. Sydney Tower, good day. Helicopter Victor Hotel Lima India Bravo, Bell 407 at Pet 8 with Bravo. Request Harbour Bridge 5 outbound for Parameta. Sorry, call sign only. Victor Hotel Lima India Bravo. Can you file a pl flight plan, please? Now, I actually did submit a flight plan. However, the problem seemed to be that the Parameta heliport is not in that SIM system. However, the tower controller was very nice and recreated a flight plan for me. Lesson learned, if your departure or your destination is a small heliport not in the system, simply type in quadruple Z and put the airport code into the remarks section. Lima, India, Bravo. Lima, India, Bravo. Uh, you're clear to Parramatta by Harbour, uh, Harbour Bridge 5 outbound. Squawk 1702. Um, call me when you're ready for departure. 1702 and call when ready. Lima, India, Bravo. Right now we are ready to go, so we are going to translate to the final approach and takeoff area, which is called Hotel 1. There is a second one, Hotel 2. We are going uh, to taxi to Hotel 1. I'm going to be a little bit careful here on the pickup. We have 1 3 knots of wind. Now, I visited Australia when I was about 21. I stayed there a couple of months and uh, also worked there. Uh, it was a great time. Uh, I uh, remember it uh, uh, very fondly. Now, for the majority of the time, I actually worked and stayed in Sydney. Uh, I also visited Melbourne, Tasmania, and I went up the uh, East Coast. After that, I pretty much enjoyed revisiting Australia in FSX, flying the Dodo Sim across the country uh, with the beautiful scenery of ORBX. ATC clearance is mandatory for the helicopter arrival and uh, departure routes uh, for Sydney. 
Maximum altitude is 1,000 feet, uh, descending to 500 when you're close to the airport. The routes are flown uh, along specific landmarks uh, across the city area. Now up ahead you can see the final approach and takeoff area, Hotel 2. That's the circular landing spot there. We are going to follow the taxiway a little bit further to Hotel 1. Oops, a little wind gust here. I'm going to set it down and uh, do my final checks before calling Tau for departure. thing about the 407 is, is uh, once you uh, touch down with your rear skids, uh, the aircraft will actually tell you by uh, activating the uh, cyclic center light on the uh, caution panel. Make sure you have activated mode Charlie on the transponder prior to departure. Sydney Tower, good evening again. American A2 had me uh, stand or parking 30 in the international. I request airways clearance to uh, SoCal Logistics uh, information, Charlie. Sydney Tower, American 82, request push and start. American 82, push approved. Push approved, American A2. Helicopter Lima, India, Bravo, ready for departure, Hotel One. Lima, India, Bravo, departure approved, call me when airborne. Departure approved and uh, call when airborne, Lima, India, Bravo. Are we clear to cross runway 25? Clear to cross runway 25. Clear cross 25, Lima, your brother. If not specifically uh, cleared by ADC, I always uh, tend to ask if I am uh, allowed to cross a runway just uh, to avoid misunderstandings. Lima, your brother, airborne. Lima, India, Bravo, contact Unicom 122, Des Moines. Have a good flight, good evening. Over Unicom, uh, thank you, Lima and your brother. Now, the first landmark that we have to fly to is the Stanford Plaza Airport Hotel at the bend of the Qantas Drive uh, right below us here. Um, make sure that you nod, fly above 500 feet from here. And then we are going to proceed onwards to the Erskine Oval which is a circular grass area with a football field in it.
Erskine Opal now uh, just below us. We are going to proceed to Red Fern Station and follow the train tracks to Sydney Central Station. And from there we're going to fly uh, direct to Darling Harbour. Sydney Tower, American 82. Um, That's Red Fern. Here you can see the stop terminal of Sydney Central Station uh, just below us, and we're going to turn to the left for Darling Harbour. We can see famous Sydney Tower, and just south of that, uh, the park that's the Botanical Gardens. Now we're approaching the end of the Harbour Bridge 5 outbound, which uh, terminates at the south pylon of Sydney Harbour Bridge. And then we're going to follow up the Parramatta River to uh, Parramatta. You could catch a glimpse here of the Sydney Opera House. And um, on the north shore of uh, Sydney Harbour, there's a... Uh, amusement park which is called Luna Park uh, that's actually the place where I worked when I stayed in Sydney um, good memories now we have entered uh, a restricted uh, airspace called R405A um, west of the Harbour Bridge there's another one R405B east of the Harbour Bridge only helicopters and seaplanes are allowed in here with ATC clearance of course That's the Gladesville Bridge below us, and we are going to follow the Parramatta River. I'm going to self-announce on Unicom in a few seconds, uh, stating my position, my altitude and my intentions. Parameter heliport traffic helicopter Victor Hotel Lima India Bravo is uh, five miles east over the Parameter River uh, at 1,000 feet inbound for landing. That's Parramatta City uh, in front of us, and the heliport is at our roughly at our 11 o'clock position. Um, I'm, I'm going to turn and uh, start my descent here.
Now there you can see the Parameter heliport uh, of Sydney helicopters. Of course in real life it is not fenced by trees, um, so we sort of have to uh, be a little bit careful not to collide with them. Um, yeah, in real life it is uh, completely devoid of trees. I'm a little bit left on the uh, parking spot. Let's scoot over uh, to the middle a little bit more. All right, there we are uh, at Parameta Heliport. Uh, hope you enjoyed our little flight here. I uh, hope you learned something. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And uh, have fun exploring the uh, Sydney helicopter routes. Uh, see you around.